to, for, to Sockville and when you first went to St. Peter's? October 15th of 1952, we left Chicago to come to Sockville and a construction man was building homes in Sockville on the river and it wasn't quite finished and we told him we need for we need a place to live in and uh, he said oh this is going to be done in no time you could move in and we could finish after you moved in so we did move in and we had a lovely elderly couple next to us uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fellons which spoke a nice German and they took us in right away there they, we loved them dearly anyhow uh, and it, we were in the house a week, and then we asked them if uh, there was a church in town we could go and uh, put our name in, and, and they said, sure, there is a church at St. Peter's. So they took us with an old 4T, which uh, was really <laughs> something else. And uh, we met Reverend Tatsky, and he spoke uh, fluently German, so I was lucky because I didn't speak English at oh, the time. Wow. So uh, we got to know uh, Reverend Tatsky, it was a very nice family, and that's how we joined St. Peter's Church in 19... Tell me about those stages of the church growing, John. Well, <clears throat> that was just the old church building. Then next to it, there were one, two, three houses. The first one was the residence for the pastor, and the other two, uh, we bought as we went along. Okay. Yeah. And and then the decision to to build that new sanctuary, and and uh, how it got going, and your role in it. Tell me that story again. Well, one one day, uh, <coughs> Neil Frank, right? Yeah. Pastor Neil Frank was here for lunch or just a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Yeah. So we talked about. It. I said, gee. Uh, you think we could use a new church? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I told him that uh, I would make available a million dollars if, if you come up with a good idea. And he almost fainted. So yeah. just, just, hey, <laughs> his, come mouth, come his mouth popped open, his eyes got a little bit. He couldn't believe it. Now that was in 90? 92, 90, yeah. In 1990, which doesn't seem like so long ago. And we realized the church but was too small. If you ask one of your kids, gee, that's a long time ago. Right? Exactly, yes. Uh, we realized when our daughter got married how small the church was. They couldn't even fit all the people in, you know. And, and you know, all uh -huh. our children were uh, confirmed in that church, too. In all of your years at St. Peter's, you think back real quickly now, because this is spontaneous. What was... One of the most exciting, fun things that you can remember. Fun things. Fun, exciting, spiritual, just something that pops into your head. I would say when the church was finished, built, was the most exciting. The new church and yes. open. And, and when they put the big picture window in, you know, the, the yeah. stained glass window. In the front. We were there when they delivered it and put it in, and uh, that was very exciting. Yeah with our name on and the date and everything. It was really a very exciting day yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah. I think exciting was that <coughs> we were able to develop a, a real good relation with just about all the ministers. Okay. They came to the house, had coffee with us, and uh, uh, we went on trips, room, like, remember, Shaw Boys? And, uh, they had a cottage in a, on the lake. Yeah. We went yes. To it's been a long time, way more than 50 years. Each of you have done a lot of different things in the church. What kind of things have you done? What was the most meaningful so to you? Well, it was more meaningful when the building part started, I backed off. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, I remember one member of the congregation said, well, now, if you give us that kind of money, do you want to change the name from St. Peter's to St. John's? <laughs> I said, well, uh, as a matter of fact, I like to have the congregation not tell anyone or the press who gave the money for it. Okay, serving on the board, teaching Sunday school, the building project, of course. 
What meant the most to you? What meant the most to me? Yeah, personally, re reinforcing, helpful, whatever good word fits in there. Being part of something I wanted to be part of. Okay. And giving back to the country. That country was so good to us, so we wanted to give back. And that was a good way of doing it. Yes, yeah. Yeah, something you mention a lot, Elizabeth. Yes. How important. Uh, How important it is to give back. And which other country could we have made a living like this? Yes. No place. Yeah. <clears> 140th <throat> anniversary. What do you have to say to the church at this time? Your message to the church. Keep up the good work what is being done in church. Well said. Keep up the good work. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> you already said it all. The, saying that, that I, I believe in real strong that stability is the ability to cope with the changes. And I have mentioned that in front of the church many a times when people said, well, let's not do that. Things are all right anyway.